buddies what's up guys how are you how are your fish tanks guys today we are going to discuss about a very beautiful and very attractive fish and this fish is very famous in the planted tank keepers and most of the planted tank keeper prefer it and it is one of the schooling fish so guys we are going to discuss about the serpi tetra and it is very popular due to its red flame color and it is very bright and very beautiful fish so we are going to discuss everything about this in this video guys you are going to know about complete care guide about the serpi tetra and we are going to discuss about its origin names and its appearance and tank size and what should be the tank parameters and what should you feed it and its behavior tank mates breeding everything you will know and after watching this video you will have a very sound knowledge about this serpi tetra so guys don't skip the video and watch till end so let's move ahead so guys first of all we are going to talk about the name of this serpi tetra we have different names and people call it jewel tetra acalistus tetra and red minor tetra and of course very popular name serpi tetra you can call it whatever you like so but you cannot deny it from its beauty and its vibrancy now we see where can you find this beauty the serpi tetra mostly found in the amazon river basin in argentina brazil paraguay Peru and Bolivia and these are usually found in the slow moving waters and they prefer to live in the hiding places under the driftwood stone and other plants as well but you can keep it in the aquarium as well and it is cooling fish so you must have a group of at least 5 to 15 serpi tetras so that you can see their vibrancy and their colors Now we talk about the lifespan of the serpi tetra. If you provide optimal water conditions and good feed, then this fish can live up to 5 to 7 years. And if you don't provide the good feed and poor water conditions, then their life may reduce. Okay guys, now we talk about the appearance of the serpi tetra. The deep red color of the serpi tetra adds to its popularity. The body of serpi tetra is flat and tall. A black comma shaped spot is present just behind the gills and the dorsal fin edge with white is predominantly black and the other fins are red and talking about the anal fin it is edged in the black with splash of white at the leading tip so it has got a very unique color combinations which attracts the viewer talking about the size of serpi it is not a very large fish it has got 1.5 to 1.75 inch size when it is fully grown now we see the tank size and the tank conditions uh, guys you should have at least 10 gallon tank for the survival of serpi tetra but i would recommend you guys that you must add these into at least 20 gallons for the best result and the growth as you know that these tiny guys are schooling fish and they are big swimmers they prefer to explore new places so you must add these into at least 20 gallons so that they might feel happy and healthy talking about the water parameters these guys prefer to live in the slow moving waters and their natural environment is soft and slightly acidic so i would recommend you guys that your water temperature should be around 72 to 79 degrees fahrenheit and ph should be from 5 to 7.8 and water hardness should be 5 to 25 dgh these are the optimum conditions in which the serpi tetra may feel happy and healthy okay now we talk about the tank mates of the serpi tetra generally it is considered a peaceful fish but sometimes it can become little aggressive towards high fin fishes and it can nip the fins of other fishes 
but if you keep them in the group then it is usually peaceful and you can keep it other fishes like bugs, daniels, tetras and loaches etc. These are the suitable tank mates. Now we talk about male and female. What are the gender differences between male and female of Serpi tetra? Mostly males have the bright color and they have smaller and slimmer body as compared to female. While male have black dorsal fin and female have usually dull color dorsal fin and vent is not visible in the males and when the female is ready to spawn then you can see her belly and the vent is visible while the size of the female is usually larger than the male. So these are some difference in by which you can identify male and female in the Serpi tetra. Okay, now we see how to breed Serpi tetra. For breeding Serpi tetra, you need to have a small tank in which you need to add some plants like Java moss, Maroflam or Hornwort and water hardness should be 6 to 8 dgh and pH should be 6 to 6.5 and temperature should be around 80 degree for height and you need to have a group of Serpi tetras in equal number of male and females and females should be ready to spawn and you need to provide dim light because high light will spoil the eggs so when the legs are laid by the females then you need to separate the male and females and egg will hatch after two or three days then you will see small babies are swimming around you can feed egg yolk to the small babies for two or three days and after that you can provide the normal food in the powder okay guys now we talk about diet and feeding of serpi tetra in natural environment serpi tetra mostly eats bacteria insect and other worms which are available but uh, in the aquarium you need to provide them every type of food because they are omnivorous in nature so you can feed them flakes pellets freeze dried worms and blood worm daphnia and other protein containing feed they like everything so you can feed them for their good growth and color Okay, now we talk about some disease which Serpi tetra can have. First of all, the most common disease that is itch and it is usually caused by poor water quality and some parasites and fish may show some symptoms like white spots, lethargicness and rubbing against the objects and stones. So you need to raise the temperature and use some medication to remove it and the other disease contains columnaries which is a common mouth disease and fin rot because it has got very bright and large fins so fin rot can be present there and velvet skin it is also a skin disease which can attack on the serpi tetra so you need to observe your fishes if your fishes show some sign of disease then you need to use antibiotic or medication to remove the disease so guys it was all about the care guide of serpi tetra as a whole we can say that serpi tetra is easy to keep and it adds very much to your beauty of planted tank so i would recommend you guys if you have planted tank then you can add this little beauty so guys thank you for watching okay bye bye